I think I'm getting what you're doing. You get what I'm doing? We have to make Dr. Paul Lewis believe that Tickle Head is the finest place to call home. Congratulations on this movie. You know, you're busy working on various movies, but The Grand Seduction, being a remake of a very, you know, popular French film, how did you feel about taking taking on this particular movie? Uh, a little bit, little bit uh, worried that we'd make a wrong decision. Uh, if there's no good reason to make it, I wouldn't want to make it. Right. So uh, I was trying to find that we had the right reason to make it. So Newfoundland is a pretty good reason. All I'm asking is to adopt a flirtatious attitude towards a doctor. No. How did you feel about taking on a popular movie that's kind of remade? I was thrilled to be involved with this project because I had seen La Grande Seduction when it came out. I used to live in Montreal and I saw Seducing Dr. Lewis in theaters and I thought it was genius and hilarious and wonderful and I was just hoping that the script would be as good and it was and so it was like a no-brainer. Do you flirt? Murray, no. Let's talk about the, the theme of persuasion. You must have some kind of go-to way of seducing and persuading. Hmm, the way that I seduce and persuade, what is that, kill them with kindness? Maybe just by being sweet. By being sweet, you get your way, oh, I think. That's very good, yes, you're right. Kill them with kindness, as you said. Well, or Taylor Kitsch. Just <laughs> use, use Taylor Kitsch for anything. And uh, I like that. <laughs> He can't. Oh, it's oh. fighting, Murray. Calm down. Oh my God. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Congrats on this movie. Thank you. It is a remake of a classic popular film, but it's in English instead of French. So uh, tell me what it was for you to take on a role like this. <laughs> Loved it. A lot of fun. I hadn't done comedy for a long time. Um, cast is ridiculous fun. Just to work here for six weeks was just really refreshing and needed and necessary and to work with Brendan almost every day was just a blast. Pretty cool. Yeah. I will catch one. It stinks. Do people still, because Friday Night Lights, huge, do people still kind of associate you with that character? Do you have to kind of break those walls when you take on movies like this one? Uh, I don't think so. I think I've done a, quite a few other different roles, but definitely Riggins is one of the mem most memorable. I think when you play any character for five years, it's going to be, you know, pretty yeah. memorable. Well, you've also done things like, you know, uh, the uh, the X-Men and that kind of, yeah. the X-Men franchise. Mm -hmm. So so you know, there's association with certain kind right, of roles. Yeah. So You're are, conscious of switching it up, right. there's no doubt. Right. I'm getting a lot of, I think it's the short hair again, a lot of savages right now. It's it, working it's, for you. It, it changes all the time. <laughs> Hi. So, uh, I've been drinking. That's exactly what a girl wants to hear when a stranger knocks on her door in the middle of the night. 